up guys welcome back to another party and boots today i will be reviewing the keck panzer 70 which is a german tier 7 tier 9 heavy tank sorry my bad and sorry if my pronunciation is a bit bad i do not i do not know how to pronounce this tank so i do have this in my garage and today i'll be reviewing it well it's a pretty solid tank as not that good armor you can't rely on it has a good alpha gun 560 damage and 15.4 seconds which i do recommend and it has a good mobility just like the k91 and both of them i do recommend getting but you can't against tier tens both of these tens could be a, could um cause quite a pain because of their weak side armor the pen is decent for a tier 9 248 just like the k91 and if you were to compare this tank with the k91 i would it's a hard decision to make, but if you're looking for high single shot damage, this tank, obviously. And for a magazine with more mobility and a Soviet heavy tank with solid strict turret armor, the K91. I mean, this does have armor and all, but it has solid sturdy turret armor like every, any other heavy tank. But the hulk can be quite of a stress, easily be, being penned by tier 8 like the Sherry Yoder with a good pen. And tier 9s like the IS-8 and the Vicar C or those light tanks and the heavy tank. So right here I see the Sherry Yoder and I'm gonna take a nice shot of 527 doing a bit lower than my alpha actually but I'll take it and as I'm waiting for my shot to reload I'm watching the Panther too careful not not for him to take a shot into my um side. So now the Sherry Yoder I bounce a shot from the Sherry Yoder now I'm gonna rush him because he is a one shot to me. If I do, if I manage to do high roll, I ha I do have the E50 support behind me, so I'm just gonna wait for him to take a nice shot, miss and shoot, and I'm just gonna ram him. But surprisingly, he did 69 damage back to me, even though he has no armor at all. So I see the waffle, um, is basically called a paper. So I'm just gonna load up HE and take a nice shot of 679 damage of my onto the waffle, which is now a one shot to any single tank in the game. I'm gonna continue flanking because I did um, catch a peep of one tank over there. I forgot which one it was. So I'm gonna continue flanking. I basically have full HP. So so far the game is going on well. So right now it's basically it's a three v three, and I see the GP Panther two take a nice shot right into his boot and me. Take him, um, put him on fire. He still has hit points, and I'm, now I'm just going to wait for him to take a shot. I do do a little trick on him, and him, gladly he misses a shot. And then, because he has barely any front armor, I take a nice shot and finish him off. And now I see the ammo 2 which is full hit points, so I'm going to take him on with my E50 support. And the ammo 2 does have a lot of turret armor, so I can't pen him even with my gold shell. So the only option I have is rushing him, taking one for the team. But in the later in the video, I won't die. I still can't even pen his commander hedge, which is a hard shot to shoot. So I'm going to rush up the hill because I'm um, going up the hill. I'm going like 13 kilometers an hour, which is pretty slow. I'm trying to take a nice shot off those two things that are low of HE. Both both are roll and roll to HE. So, but I can't because they're hidden behind the whatever you call it. And now I see the ML1 is showing me his side which is an easy pin. I do exactly my alpha damage, which is 560. So far, we're up to 3.2k damage in this battle. And the E50M is losing hit points quickly by the ammo. So I'm just going to take a nice ram. And I take more damage than I give off. But now he's a one-shot to the E50, and E50 finish him off. Now it's a 3v2. And basically, the P4 for Pinter has barely any hit points. And the E50 can stain itself and finish one guy off before he dies. But I do have more than half my hit points still. At 1,441. And now I see the T54E2. He's going to peek one more time, take a nice shot, and finish him off on his bottom plate. And now the IS8 is basically a one shot, and he's finished off with E50. And we won the game. I'm um, doing a total of 4.1k damage. So this tank is very good. I definitely recommend it, as you saw the gameplay. It has mobility, arm, not that much armor, good alpha damage, gun, penetration, and because it's a German tank. Not damage depression. Okay, Saint Ammo, I didn't forget about you. But besides the Saint Ammo and the Dicker Max, this tank barely has any depression. So I do recommend buying this tank. And thank you for watching.